St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome to the celebration of this Eucharist. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Sylvia and Helen from Orangeville, Ontario. They offer it in thanksgiving for the daily televised Mass for the living and deceased members of their family, of friends and family, and especially in loving memory of their mother and father, Pauline and Stanley. On behalf of all of us, we say thank you. And now as we begin this Eucharist, let us call to mind that we are sinners and stand in God's presence, a God who is full of mercy and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. You forgive us our sins, Christ have mercy. You feed us on your body and blood, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us now pray together. Almighty God, every good thing comes from you. Fill our hearts with love for you. Increase our faith, and by your constant care, protect the good that you have given us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. At night Jacob got up and took his two wives, his two maids, and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. He took them and sent them across the stream, and likewise everything that he had had. Jacob was left alone. And a man wrestled with him until darkness. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he struck him in the hip socket. And Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then the man said, Let me go, for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So the man said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have striven with God and with humans and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. But he said, Why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, for I have seen a God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. The sun rose upon him as he passed Peniel, limping because of his hip. Therefore, to this day, the Israelites do not eat the thigh muscle that is on the hip socket, because he, he struck Jacob on the hip socket at the thigh muscle. The word of the Lord. See 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking along, a demoniac who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke. And the crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the rule of the demons, he casts out demons. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. 